guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I am going to be reading the full book of Dogman Mothering Hypes by Dave Bilkey. Meet the cast. Dogman, he has a he head of a dog, the body of a man, and the heart of a hero. He's noble, brave, and enjoys chasing squirrels. Petey, once known as the world's most evilest cat. Petey is now working on becoming a better version of himself. Strength, intelligence, weakness, easily annoyed. Little Petey, Petey's son. He's a force for goodness and kindness who lives with Petey during the week and dog about on weekends. Strength, optimism, weakness, can't be annoying. Molly, an ambitious kid with a heart of gold and a propensity of s for silliness. She can fly and move so with her brain. Strength, psycho psychokinesis, weakness, stubbornness. Uh, Sarah Hadoff, Sarah Hadoff, an investigative journalist slash blogger who finds injustice whenever it lurks. She's an immigrant from Australia and has a pet poodle. Strengths, bravery and braids, weakness, impatience, ADHD, uh, no, 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 chief, uh, the fearless boss of the local police and department, he's got, a bra he's got a bravery of a warrior and a heart of a kid, strength, lo lo loyalty, weakness, impulsiveness, ADHD, a friendly, sedated, transforming robot who is a loyal friend to Lil PD, so... ADHD sometimes gets destroyed, but he always comes back for more. Strength, creativity, but weakness, malic acid. Suzu, Sarah Hadoff's feisty poodle who, put, who bites first and asks questions later. Actually, she doesn't really ask questions. She's a dog. Nurse Lady, a.k.a. Genie S. Lady, R. R. N. P. S. N. Her genius ideas and caring beside manner... Uh, our world renowned. Her quick thinking saved Dogman's life. Strength, Moxie. Weakness, Chutzpa. Gra Grandpa, Petey's dad. He's a selfish, eg egotistical meanie who currently resides in cat jail. Petey and Lil Petey no longer associate with him. Strength, intelligence. Weakness, arrogance. Big Jim, Grandpa's pure hearted cellmate in cat jail. He sometimes moonlights as a superhero named Commander Cupcake. Strength, cupcakes, weakness, cupcakes. Chapter 1, The Line of Duty by George Beard and Hal Hutchins. I got you now, dogman. Nobody can escape my terrifying robo shark duck. Crash! Oh no, it's Chief! Wait, I gotta explain. Kung Fu Grip. Toss. Rawr! Quack. Swish, pop. Pow! Munch, munch, munch. Booyah! Psss! Slice. Bonk. I believe the puppies are our future. Teach them grapes and let them wag their tails. Show them all the bushes they can sit outside. Give them a sense of ring to make it easier. Ring. Ring, 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 ring. Sup. Dogman was injured in the line of duty. I'll be right there. Quack, quack. Hold on, Dogman, I'm coming. Quack, 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 quack. How is he going to pull through? Worry, Chief, he's gonna be fine. But what happened? Let our sketch artist explain it in Flippo Rama. Here.
get this straight. Don one was drinking out of the toilet again, and the lid fell down and hurt his fingers. Bingo! You said he was injured in the line of duty! No, I said line of duty! You see, there was a really long line in the bathroom, and we all had to go duty. And, well, you see, we, uh... Get out of here! Yeah! Whoops, whoops, whoops. Yeah! Would you like to see him, Chief? Yeah! Yeah, is he okay? Yes, he's fine. We kept trying on his bandages, and we couldn't get him to stop. So we gave him a special collar. Chapter 2. The Code of Shame. Soon. Oh no! Dogman, what happened to you? He's okay, Chief, I promise. But why does he have to wear this silly cone? He only has to wear it for a few days. But, but, everybody's gonna, it's gonna make fun of him. Well, I'm glad he has a friend like you. You'll protect him, won't you? Sure, sure I will. Good. See you later. Bye bye. I like your slippers. Really? Thanks. They quack when you walk. I noticed. She noticed. She noticed. Hi, Dogman. How come you're wearing that thingy on your head? Wine, wine, wine. You did? Wine, wine, wine. Are you okay? Wine, 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 wine. A few days? Hmm. Don't worry, Dogman. You stay here and enjoy a cup of pretend tea. ADHD and I will solve this problem. Come on, ADHD. Let's go to the grand ballroom. Fwa, fwa. Chapter 3. Escape from Cat Jail. Meanwhile, scribble, scribble, scribble. At last, my evil plan is complete. I just need two secret ingredients. Hmm. Bonk. Roll, roll, roll. Womp. Oh, hi, Grandpa. Hi, Big Jim. Grandpa, I'm not Big Jim now. Right now, remember? I'm Commander Cupcake. Yeah, whatever. Hey, you're not trying to escape again, are you, Grandpa? You leave me alone! But, Grandpa, I gotta warn you. I reprogrammed the Cupcake exit so you can't use it to escape. It's very dangerous. Leave me alone, I said! I'll do what I want! And there's no Go on, flip it. You know you want to. Hmm. Hope you can see it properly. Sorry, Grandpa, I tried to warn you. Only me and my new Roa can can't use the cupcake accent. That cardboard hunk of junk can escape? Well, it could if I could make it work, but I can't. Maybe it just needs a battery. Of course, a battery. Wait here, Grandpa. I'm going to get a battery. You do that. Chapter 4. Cone of Destiny. Meanwhile, while Dogman was enjoying his pretend tea, ADHD and P little PD and ADHD were upstairs in the in the ballroom completing their new invention. Come on, okay, ADHD, let's test it out. Click. Zzz, swish, swish, kachunk, kachunk, kakak, ver, kakak, chunka, chunka, kakok, kakok, chunka, chunka, ver, chunka, chunka, kakunk. Kabunk, ver, sweet.
we're all ready. We're all ready. What? Good thinking, ADHD. An umbrella? Good thinking, ADHD. You might never know when an umbrella might come in handy. Come on, ADHD. We did it, dog run. Now all we have to do is get rid of this thingy and replace it with the click with the cone of destiny. Now anytime you get in trouble, just press the button on top and all of your wildest dreams will come true. Are you ready? Who's gonna save the day? Are you? Are you gonna save the day? Go save the day! Zoom! Boom! Pow! Clunk! I think I accidentally skipped a page. Oh, hi, Papa. Why is it that every time I come here, something dangerous or fun just happens? That's just, that's how he rolls, Papa. Ra roll, Papa. Are you ready to go home already? Yeah, and you're coming too. Yeah, you're, you can play with me at Papa's house. He's not going to be playing. He's not? No, he destroyed three walls in our lab last week, and he broke our door. So I'm putting him to work. And now, but you knuckleheads need to learn that there are consequences to your actions. Oh man, I hate consequences. Chapter 5 Bring on the Bullies by George Beard and Hal Hutchins. 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 <laughs> Meanwhile, well, 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 look who's back. Hey, Ma, check out Dog Matt's headgear. Ha 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 ha. He looks more ridiculous than usual. What a disgrace. What an embarrassment. What a humiliation. You better hide behind that plan like you always do, you cold head. Yeah, cold head. Cold head, cold head. Do you remember? Cold head, cold head. Cold head, cold head. Whenever you get into trouble, cold head, cold head. Just press the button on top. Cold head, cold head. And all of your wildest dreams will come true. Cold head, cold head, cone. Cold head, cold head, cold head. Click, kung 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 kung, chuga chuga, kashu kashu, kwa kwa, snoof, kazan kazan, kaz kazan kazan, kim sa sa ver, zizz, buzz, kagui zoop, chuga chuga, ver ver, mmm, zong zong, click click, swoosh, chuk chuk chuk, fwa, fwa, fwoosh ha, fwa. Bush, Vasha, Verk, Verk, Gunga, Gunga, Onzi, Dua, Day, Diddy, W, Do, Bakarak, Humberdig, Dav, Yankovic, Drip, 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 Chaboom! Yeah! Click, Kashunk, Buff Lump, Joshua. Billy Booya Booya Hey! Quit booking me, dog man! Can't you see I'm writing a very important letter? Hmm, what do you think of this? Dear nurse lady, roses are red, violets are b roses are red, violets are blue. You're a nurse lady and I like you. Do you like me? Yes? No. Check one. Your pal. Chief. <laughs> I guess you're right, dog man. I'll always be alone. I guess I'll always be alone. Chapter 6 The Play Date. Hey, Grandpa, I found a battery. Grandpa? Big Jim. I have escaped. Gramp signed Grandpa. Hmm. Okay, Boba, here's your battery. Don't tell Grandpa, but I borrowed it from his alarm clock. How many times have I told you not to touch my stuff? Air, uh, air, uh, air, I mean, beep, boop, greetings, carbon, base, feed line. It works, it works. I love you, robot. What do you want to do first? Go fish, hide and seek, coloring books, go fish? No, let's escape. Air, I mean, beep boop, let's go play 
outside. I look for two secret ingredients. A treasure hunt? Sweet! What shall we look for? Living spray on cannery grow. Why do we need them? Um. But, hmm, because cupcakes are delicious forever? Makes sense to me. Click. Let's go! Meanwhile, fix those holes first, then you can fix the door. Let's go, kid. It's time to take your bath. It's day time! Too bad, you need to get cleaned up. Why? Because I'm going to be on TV. Why? Because Sarah's going to interview me. Why? Because she's doing a new story about former villains who transformed, transformed their lives. Why? Because people like to watch stuff like that. Why? Because it makes them feel all warm and fuzzy. Why? Because the jury stopped my mind to spread us in the peace inside streets of all the country and civil out there. What? Nothing better to do than draw our lives away by sitting in front of the screen all day. Look, Papa, I'm Santa Claus. Were you even listening? No. Ding dong. Doorbell. Ruff, ruff, ruff. Splash. Ruff, ruff. Ruff, 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 ruff. Two minutes later. Hey, Papa. What? Can co Molly come over and play? No! Oh, please, what we got this time? I said no! I don't want any disruptions today. Sarah's going to be here soon. Besides, that Molly kid is a, a little strange if you ask me. I am? Why didn't you tell me she was already here? I forgot. Look, I'm sorry I called you strange, but the truth is, you're both strange when... You're a both little strange one. Why do you play together? Last week you spent one whole day making up songs about diarrhea. <laughs> oh yeah. Ha ha ha. That wasn't strange. That was hilarious. No, what are you doing for nine hours? Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Look, all right. Look, you could stay and play downstairs, but I don't want to hear a peep out of you guys. Do you hear me? Okay, Papa. Let's go. Bye, Wally. Beep, beep. I'm serious. I don't want you kids messing everything up today. We won't. We're probably going to mess everything up today, aren't we? Yeah, probably. Chapter 7. A bunch of stuff that happened next. By George Beard and Hal Tunchins. Meanwhile, sugar, sugar, sugar. Mayor's new garden. Mayor's new rose garden. Keep out, especially dog man. Foie. Bush. Fuff, fuff, fuff. Plop. Ding dong. Oh, look, a pile of strawberry roses. I'll wash these off and give them to my patients. That'll cheer everyone up. Meanwhile, what do you mean no longer available? What do you mean no longer available? This, well, Lenin was was bad due to complaints, right? And they saw many cannery grow after the factory was destroyed in Book 5, right? This is an outrage! Let's take our business elsewhere, uh, uh, elsewhere. Meanwhile, hi, I'm Sarah Hanoff. Welcome to my show. Oh, hi, ADHD. Today we're at the home of Petey the Cat. As you may remember, Petey used to have a very bad reputation. He was known across the continent as the world's most evilest cat. But all of, has, all of that has changed. Today, Petey is an upstanding citizen and a true ambassador for altruism. Let's meet him now. Here's Petey. Well, hello, Sarah. What a surprise. And how are you doing, little doggy? Grrr. Be nice, Zuzu. Yeah, be nice, Zuzu. Petey, just a short time ago, you were widely known as a villain, a ruthless bad guy, an evil, scheming, good-for-nothing scoundrel. But you've changed. Yeah. Tell me why. But, well, I... If you're happy and you know, poop your pants. <coughs> if you're happy and you know, poop your pants. Oh. <coughs> Well, who 
Who's here? It's Lil Petey and Molly. How are you two doing today? Good, fine. Are we on TV? Yes. Testing one, two, three. Hey, wanna hear a song about diarrhea? No, she doesn't. I told you kids to stay downstairs. We're hungry. Yeah, you got any of that potato chips? How about I make something healthy instead? I could cut up some carrots and broccoli. Now we like potato chips. All right, here. Got any of the white stuff? What white stuff? You know, the white stuff. She means chip dip. We don't have any chip dip. Oh. Chomp, munch, 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 gulp. T tastes way better with chip dip. We're all out of chip dip. That's okay, Wally. You got some for the next time I go over. What do you get out of here? Okay. Bye, Wally. Why does she keep calling you Wally? I have no idea! Chapter 8, Becoming P.T. Meanwhile, sorry dudes, we're all out. I can't believe it! Nobody has living tree or cannery grow! Let's do something else, I'm hungry. No, I'm not giving up until... We're back live with Petey the Cat, who has agreed to give us a tour of a secret laboratory, which is filled with all kinds of dangerous stuff. It is an arsenal for apparatuses of annihilation and a depot for dude out of doom. Hey, look, there you are! Er, I mean, beep boop. I have detected the items we were searching for. We must acquire Dog at Petey's lab. Oh, hi, Dog Man. How's it going? Rough. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Cheer up, little buddy. Everything will be okay. Plop. Ding dong. Oh, my, my goodness. It's a box of candy. I'm going to share these bad boys with everybody. Yo, who's... We just want some wet patties that you found on the sidewalk. Nom, 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 nom. Nom, nom, nom. Speaking of weird transitions. Your childhood was hard, wasn't it? Yeah, but your father didn't stick around, did he? No, but dad, uh, dad you were orphaned. Yeah, but life didn't give you any breaks, did it? No, but dad, you, so you became a hardened criminal. Yeah, but did, did it... Uh, did it fill the empty void in your life? No, but. No, but. Then something changed, didn't it? Aren't you gonna let me talk? Certainly. Okay, all those things did happen, but that's not why I became a bad guy. Then why, Pete? Why did you turn to the back s dark side? Well, I. Stay close, stay close, little fart. Blew my underwear apart. Blasting from my butt so loud. Like a diarrhea cloud, stinkle, stinkle, little fart, blew my under. What is wrong with you two? We're thirsty. Yeah, potato chips can get pretty dry if you don't have chip chips. No offense. All right, all right, walk this way. Rawr! Stomp, 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 stomp. What are you doing now? We're walking like you. And so we have apple juice and cranberry. A apple, apple, shaka, 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 shake. Hey, Wally, you got any real cups? Sippy cups are for babies. Last week, you kids spilled cherry juice all over the couch. So, no, it's either sippy cups or nothing. Sippy cups. All right, then. And don't leave them lying around there on the floor. I'm tired of picking after you two. Boy, Wally is sure is a grouch today. I wonder why. Chapter 9. The Bad Old Days. We're back with, your, we're back with Petey the Cat. But instead of telling us his story, he's going to show us. For a record, I think this is a bad idea. Why? We got these kids with us and they're going to ruin everything. He's right, this is a bad idea. Aw, oh, come on, Petey, show us your story. Okay, well, okay, I got into trouble when I was younger. I made some bad choices, and I got caught by Dogman? No, it was before Dogman.
This is the first jail they send me to. Jail for cats. U.S. Department of Kitty Correction. So I served my time and I tried to do good. But when I finally got out of jail, I couldn't get it, a job. I couldn't find a home. I, and nobody would give me a second chance. Second chance dinner. <laughs> Everywhere I went, I went, people just saw the bad in me. Get lost, you criminal! Let any of you who's without sin be the first to kick me out. Bonk! Is that why you returned to a life of crime? What other choice did I have? No matter how hard I tried, nobody would let me forget who I used to be. Meanwhile. Hey, robot, I don't think anyone is home. Beep boop, don't worry about it. I just need to zizz, clunk, bonk, crash, biff, boom, bonk, wham! Robot! Grandpa, it was you all along? Of course it was me all along. Now swift, quit standing there like a gumdrop and help me find what I'm looking for. I shall not. Your, di your dissection has come to an end. For I am clunk. Clunk, clop, clunk. Well, well, well. H who, looky here. No, Grandpa. Ah, uh, dry up. No, hey, let go of me. Boom. Sip oh rama Sip it, don't drip it. I'm going to do it three times each picture, because, yeah. Look here. Ah. No, 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 not like that, not like that. That sure is hard. Okay, here. Hard to do those type of fibromas. Oh wait, I get it now. First, I do this. Ah, God damn it! Uh. Yeah, I put my hand here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Fans. Who know what dog man is? Two, three. Sorry if that took you a bit long. Now look what you made me to. Those two sippy cups just came to life and it's all your fault. Aw, oh, don't worry, Grandpa. They're so little and cute. What harm could they possibly do? Hold on. Clunk. Plink. Plunk. Clunk. Catch. Shaka shaka shake. Crash, rumble, from crumble, bumba. Chapter 10, Night of the Living Sippy Cups. Wikipedia and son. Click. Crash. Crunka, braka, crumba, bronk. Grandpa, they're so little and they're so cute and little. What harm could they possibly do? But then, rumble, rumble, chuck, clench, shoof. Pow, bop, crack, crack. Trip, trip, 
drip, 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 clunk, clunk, clink, clunk, clink, clunk. The malagasy that apple juice must have corroded his electro gizzards. He'll probably be okay though. Gulp. Much, much. Well, goodbye, Grandpa. So long, buddy. Yeah! Chris Splash. I can't swim with this apple juice. Just hang on to me, Grandpa. See, we're just, we're fine. Splish, splash, sploosh. What are you smiling about? You called me buddy. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I did not. You did too? Did not. Meanwhile, take me out to the bathroom. Take me out to go poo. My duty just smells like rotten eggs. And it's starting to run down my leg. Oh, if we don't get to the bathroom. And we can't find the door. Or there'll be one, two, three pounds of poo on the bathroom floor. What is your problem? Actually, we do have to go to the bathroom. Yeah, seriously. And so, six minutes later, you kids better, better quit goofing around. It's getting late. Where are we going now, PD? To where it all began. Chapter 11, where it all began. If you really want to know why I changed, why I changed from bad to good, it all starts here. This is this is where my mom and I lived after my dad left. We arrived with almost nothing, and things were pretty tough. We didn't have much money or food, but my mom was always helpful. We still have love, and love that lasts forever and ever. Hey, Papa, how come I have a bandage on my tail? That's not you, that's me when I was little. Oh. So anyway, it was, it was hard on both of us and I didn't handle it well. But my mother always forgave me and she never gave, and she never gave up on me. Through it all, her, her love was so strong that it survived even after she passed away, even after all the mistakes I made. Then one day, when I least expected it, her love came something new. That's me, right, Papa? Yup, that's you. I didn't recognize it at first, but it was my, but my mother's love was there, staring me right out in the face, still believing me, still forgiving me, and ne and never giving up hope. Sometimes love is so strong that it really does last forever and ever. So are you saying that love is eternal, even though it it's me metaphysical characteristics may change, its invariable nature may remain pure, inspiring even the most hardened soul to transform into a beloved out altru altruist, altruist? Um, sure, why not? I could have said it better myself. Well, that's the end of our show, folks. What a wonderful ending it was. I can't think of anything that could ruin this delightful ending. Grab. Okay, maybe one thing. Chapter 12, Big Fight. By George Beard and Harold Hutchins. Yeah, Splash. Are you guys okay? Yeah, I think so. Don't worry, gang, I'll save the day. Hey, hey, you big looks! Let go of my friends! Ha 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 ha. Alright, you asked for it. Molly, you serve the psych psychonetic mind powers on the first sippy, sippy cup. And it was working, but the second sippy cup got an idea. Carefully aimed his nose. Splash! Whoosh, bonk, crash. Ow! Oh no! Wally's lab got destroyed. Wally's gonna be mad. Meanwhile, 
Scribble, scribble, scribble. Crumble, crumble. I'll never get it right. But then, hey chief, nurse needs on the phone. Shads, he needs you to. Come on, dog man, now is our chance. Zoom. Oh boy, this is gonna be. Screech. Oh no, I'll help ev evacuate the hospital. You find those sippy cups. Good luck, dog man. Click. Random on, oh my pole, a tick, sound, the fixes. So anyway, can song, Robo Rama. Did it to be taken? Yeah, you guys can see it. Probably not the first one though. You could definitely see the last one. Good. Well, not by Duke that with on other with one sippy cup, the other sippy cup bent on destruction. Crash! Rumble, rumble, rumble. Boom! He's, it's gonna destroy the hospital, and there's no time to evacuate. You know what we must do? Yes! Yeehaw! Wonk, wonk. Tickle, 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 tickle. Tickle, tickle. But wait! Oh dear. Oh no! Smack! Well, I guess we're doomed. Yeah, but it wasn't all bad. At least I still got to hold your hand. What's the dog man barking about? Bark, 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 bark. Bark, bark. What do you want, dog man? Shoof. Catch. Well, well, well. You might not know when an umbrella might come in handy. Chapter 13. The most romantic chapter ever written. Gee whiz, it sure is nice up here. I'll say. So, d d do you want to hold hands again? Nah. Let's smooch it out, baby. Introducing Smoochorama, the world's most armorous animation technology. Here. I hope you could hope it works for you. It really doesn't work this way because it only works on your eyes, actually. So, yeah. Chapter 14. Be dwell back at the terrifying battle. The, the struggle raged on until things got really whack. And Dogman took the plunge. Splash! Sizzle, 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 sizzle. Then, plop! What happened? Hey, what happened to Dogman's robo suit? It's a malic acid in this apple juice. It must have corroded his electro gizzards. Darn you, apple juice! Who's going to save us now? Meanwhile, i got to find a weapon or something. But everything here is broken. Even if this smear... This meerkat robot has lost her head. But wait, but wait. I can move her with, I can move her body with my mind. Maybe sh all she needs is a new brain. Mecha Molly is go Go, 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 Mecha Molly transforming Shing Mecha Molly. Buzz, 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 Mecha Molly, go! Bud, dub, bomba, dum, dum, ba, dum, ba, crash! Fight, 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 Mecha Molly! Melt our hearts, Mecha Molly! Melt our hearts! 
Nakamali. Save the world, Nakamali, go! Rum, rum, rum. So anyway. Well, that was violent. Thanks. Well, good night, everybody. Let's play. Let's all play again tomorrow. Dalwan, I have a very important job for you. Roll an ADHD homo, okay? And tomorrow we'll fix them up as good as new. Salute, salute. And so, hey, look, there's Dogman. Would it be okay if he came with us to, on our date tomorrow? Of course. Oh boy, this is gonna be great. You did too, I did not. Chapter 15, The Memory of Love's Refrain. And so, I know that, but I know, but Wolof can't fly, but Batman can't, that's not the point. Santa could beat up the, why are you kids? Please be quiet, just five minutes of peace, that's all I have, just five. Hey, what happened? Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, your lab broke. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Hey Wally, this may, this might not be the best time to ask, but can I read this, can I keep this robo suit? Why sure, Mo well sure Molly, why not? As you can see, I've just lost everything. So please, help yourself. Take my last remaining material possession. Really? Awesome! Thanks, Wally! See ya! Whoosh! Don't forget the chip dip! Hey, Papa, look what I found! It, it's a guitar! Plink, plink, plink! Where did you find this? Over there by the bricks! It's not a guitar, it's a you, you play. Oh, you, you, you ukulele. Ukulele. Oh, this was a. This is my mother's. I've been looking everywhere for this. Even I thought I had lost it, but it's been with me all along. Come on, Papa. Let's go. We can stay at Dogman's house at least until we rebuild the lab. Okay. I guess we don't have a choice. We just lost everything. Well, not everything. We still have love. And love lasts forever. Right, Papa? Forever and ever. The end. Whew, I hope you enjoyed me reading this. And see you in another video. Bye.